finally found the house of your dreams. Your offer was accepted. Yeah, it passed the home inspection. Thumbs up on that. How do you protect this important part of the transaction so you don't lose the property? That's what I'm going to discuss in my next video. My name is Mark Schreier and I'm a licensed salesperson with Cobalt Banker American Homes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. This way the algorithm helps me work the algorithm to get more videos to you in regards to buying and selling real estate here on Long Island or any state for that matter. Now back to today's topic, how to protect the transaction. You've made it all the way through the process of getting the home inspection, getting your offer approved. You were pre-approved earlier in the, your uh, home search um, process. So how do you protect it? Well, I'm going to give you a couple of tips of what you should do, but definitely one you should not do. The things that you should do is once you've actually made it to this point in the process, you should definitely be very, very aware of all the things you're buying and selling all the things you're buying and selling on credit cards, all the things you're buying and selling with cash that pulls money out of your accounts because the banks are going to start scrutinizing or your mortgage lender are going to start scrutinizing all your income, your income, where things have come from and where things have left. So don't go out and buy a car. Don't go out and buy furniture for the new house or co-op or condo that you're so excited that you just got or you're getting really soon. Don't go out and buy that new couch until you have the keys and you've closed on the particular property. The reason is if all of a sudden you make a $10,000 purchase, it's going to knock off a lot of the accounting, a lot of the ratios, the mathematical formulas that these mortgage lenders use uh, when it comes when it came to your pre-approval. So if the numbers are different, it's going to slow down the process. And in this strong seller's market, you don't want to get your financing rejected and then you lose the house that you thought you had. Remember, it's not over until you have closed at the closing table and received the keys. So don't go out and buy a car, whether it's a lease or not. Don't lease a car. Don't buy a car. Don't buy expensive furniture. Small ticket items are fine, but I would highly suggest you speak to your mortgage person on anything that you're not sure about. Now, the one thing that some people don't realize that's very important and can break the deal or slow down the process significantly, you might think you're making things better, is if you start transferring money around. You say, well, I'm not buying a car. I'm not buying furniture. I'm not making a big ticket expense purchase. So it's no big deal. But if you all of a sudden move money from one account, a large sum or any amount for that case that's going to trigger a red flag to your lender, you're going to have a problem getting that mortgage. And you don't want to be in that situation. So again, anything you do, whether it's purchasing a large ticket item or even a small ticket item, get clarification, get the okay from your mortgage lender before you do it. Do not start moving funds from one account to another account to make it easier because maybe at the closing table, your attorney told you, you need to write X amount of checks for the different things, for the appraisal, for the title company, uh, and you want to make it easier for everybody to put it in one account, that simple fact of trying to make it easier by transferring the money into another account is going to ruin everything that was already pre-approved. And now the bank is going to have to re-examine everything, and that can take time. And in this strong seller's market, we really don't have that much time to, you don't want to slow down the process. You don't want to ruin the sale. With that being said, this is Mark Schreier from Caldwell Banker American Homes, and I'll see you on the next video.